Lumo Land was handed the uh, special purpose police back in 1979, but uh, before that, back in the early, late 60s, early 70s, there was a bit of a struggle which a lot of our people who were, uh, who were involved with the fight in trying to establish ourselves back then, uh, which was successful. <laughs> This time of weather, we have the whole weather. Well, it's not good. We might have flu or something like that. Some living at the water, some people living up there. We need a shelter. Some of the conditions of these had uh, so bad, it's just deplorable. It's uh, very hot. And all of these have, people living have no toilets, no cows in them, and the houses up the other end of the camp, they have to walk a couple hundred yards to use the toilet and showers. When we've been living around one mile in area, that's to the long grass. We've been moving to camp to camp, and then finally David invited us so we need these two houses to be renovated, properly built, yeah. with bands, toilet and all that. Well, I don't remember the last time somebody had been maintained for oh, well over three, four years, maybe longer. The neglect's been there for a long, long time of these houses. They're not fit for anybody to live in. Well, since the rezoning of this area, back in 97 again, it had become important to the government to develop it. The proposal is being that uh, on the other side of the dam, they wanted it they wanted as an open pathway, and that uh, we don't agree with that. I think the community people uh, need the, the whole area. Well, a few years. It's an I've heard that somewhere before. But, uh, this is it. It has to be, you know, people might say it's, it's development. And if you can't stand in the way of development, that's bullshit. You know? You can't just go and kick it back with all over the place. We've been dispossessed already, we're still being dispossessed now. You know, we've been told to keep it, keep it move out. You know. And you got people who uh, are just coming in into this in the Northern Territory just recently, get into politics up here in Darwin. And then they want to they think they own the bloody place already and uh, they'll kick out whoever they want to. And most of that people are the Aboriginal people, you know. If they have to kick out for not a lot of people. What's wrong with us? Any government like that. But we've been here for a long time, long before, uh, long before self-government anyway, the fight was on before that. So I think we were here first. It's only right that we should stay here. <laughs>